All right, th this is a, oh, it's a small observatory. It's about 10 square meters. Um, I built this uh, th three years ago. It's dark in here, mate. Let's just let there be yeah. light. Let there be light. So the roof just slides off and opens up to the heavens, of course. The, um, the typical sort of observatory, big large slump, uh, hunk of concrete down the bottom. We had to dig a really big hole, about a metre by a metre by a metre. It's got about 2.7 tonnes of concrete below the floor here. This floor is elevated. Then this pipe here, that weighs about 250 kilo. So a mate of mine, we dragged it off. He's a big guy, I'm a reasonably big guy. We sort of had to move it, shuffle it along, right? Until we got it in the right spot over the top of the concrete, bolted it down, and of course now it doesn't move at all. And why is that so important to you? Well, it's because you don't want anything to move while you're taking images of the, the heavens. So it's very important to get, get everything sort of stable, no deflection, hardly any movement at all. So this is what we want. And how did you get it inside this building? Well, the building wasn't here. I had to put the pier on top and then I built all the building around the outside. So as you can see, it's all fairly sort of hand construction, but having sort of uh, trade skills tends to help. So this is permanent. This, this mount here, this is called a PME. Um, it's made by Software Bisque. It's one of the most, um, the largest mounts available for an amateur. It um, can carry quite a lot of weight, about 65 kilo. The telescope and the cameras are interchangeable. So this, this is a small refractor here. It's got a, a, a small camera on it at the back called a QSI. Um, and then right here is another telescope which can also go on this uh, particular mount. You take the whole assembly off, slide that on and put another camera on the back of that. That's called a Ritchie Crichton. Um, it's made by GSO. Uh, very affordable piece of equipment. So they were, they were named after Magellan when he was uh, sailing around in the 1500s. He was one of the first northerners who actually came into the south and was able to see them. So they named them after him. Um, but they're quite famous. The Large Magellanic Cloud was the site where the supernova in 1987 went off. So this is the brightest supernova that we've seen for about 400 years. It went off right there. So next door, really, our neighbour. <laughs> um, there's also a lot of star formation that's happening in these in these galaxies and probably at some point they're going to become part of the Milky Way. So they're, they're stuck in orbit right now. Um, there's definitely a gravitational influence between the large and small Magellanic Clouds and the Milky Way, but probably they will, they will fall in and, and just become part of us. Uh, we're about 75 to 80 kilometres uh, south, southeast of Adelaide, um, right near, um, right on the, uh, the border between uh, Alexandri Lake Alexandrina and the Murray River. So the Murray River comes past out to the south of us and down to Goolwa. Well, first of all, it's dark. Um, the skies are dark here. Unlike other places in the world, simply an hour away from Adelaide City, dark skies. This place also has a dark sky policy. This township. Everyone that's here loves the night sky. So there's hardly any lights. There are a lot of lights installed, but there's only five that work within the the whole of the township. Great for me. Um, and also the, the air is very still here. It's very close to the ocean. The air coming off the, um, the ocean makes the sky very still. P heaven for you then, yeah? Absolute heaven, yeah. 